Another JEE prep question, perhaps from an older source, I've been informed. Uh, but what we have here is a function. Uh, it's, a, it's a rational function. I'm just copying it down here. Now, just want to make some comments here about the nature of the domain and range specifications right here. Notice that this rational function, uh, if you were to consider this equation equals to 2, Again, I won't show each step, it's very straightforward, but it's not, it can never be equal to two. And that's easy to see if you just multiply it through by uh, x minus one, you would get two x is equal to two x minus two, which certainly has no solution. Now they went ahead and told you that two wasn't part of the range. Now in a similar fashion, you can't divide by zero. So that's why one's excluded from the domain. We're supposed to figure out what type of function is, which of these four uh, statements about one to one and onto is satisfied. Now I'll just start out, uh, with a definition, by one to one we mean we mean this, and let me just give you a concrete example. It says if two images are equal, then their pre-images have to be equal, basically. So uh, let's let's just use the concrete example f of x equals x squared. Okay. This has a very familiar graph, but you'll note that um, f at negative three f at negative three, and I can pick any number in its additive inverse, f at negative three uh, f at negative three is equal to f at three. Alright, so this first part of the definition of one to one so that, that would correspond exactly to this part right here, right? But notice uh, minus 3 clearly doesn't equal to 3. So uh, minus 3 does not equal to 3, right? So we can see that uh, f of x equals x squared is not a one-to-one -one function unless you uh, reduce or restrict the domain. So negative 3 does not equal to 3. So just functionally, uh, this just from the definition of function, you can see this is not one to one, okay? So not one to one right here. I'll just put not. And for the sake of brevity, I'll just do one dash one, not one to one. Okay, now another thing that's quite useful as far as the way the rest of this problem is gonna go is notice that on the graph of x squared, okay, uh, we'll locate uh, three here. And minus three just across from it symmetrically. Notice that these two points, minus three f at negative three, which I won't write down, and three f at three, they connect by a horizontal line here. Okay, horizontal line connection. So this horizontal line test is a way to check to see if a function uh, is one to one. Okay. Now also we can also see very clearly up here that zero, zero would be a point on the graph, right? There's no, it's both an X and Y intercept. So zero, zero is clearly a point on the graph. Okay, which means, which means that zero, zero is this point right here. Okay, and y'all, this would be the line X equals one. And this would be the line Y equals two. Remember, y equal a constant is just a horizontal line, similarly for x equal a constant, all right? And so these asymptotes force the behavior. Um, here, uh, we end up with something that looks like this. Okay, and it's gonna approach the line uh, x equals one uh, asymptotically. And let me just put an arrow there and stop before I cross the line. Okay, I cross the line way too much anyway, right? Okay, so there you go, that's part of the graph. And just by the nature of how asymptotes work and just what you know about this function, you're going to get this behavior here. Okay. So you can see that this graph would not have a single horizontal line hitting it into right here. This horizontal line hits the graph in two spots. Therefore, it's not one to one. So we can conclude just from the graph that this is a one to one function. And also we can conclude it's on two because the graph extends infinitely in the positive 
and negative direction. And then given these exclusions of, of, of two and one, that we get that this is also one to one and on to. Now in, in words, folks, a function is, is on to if any element in the range has a preimage, that is pick an element R in the range, then there would be an A in the domain such that F at A is equal to R. But we can just look at the graph and tell that it must be uh, one to one and on to. And so here we go, y'all, that, that would be choice D. Thanks for viewing.